Hello, my beautiful seekers. I have missed you so, so much. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I wasn't here for the end of December reads. I'm sorry, for the end of November reads for December. Because as many of you know, I was going through um, a loss, which I was um, working on, you know, I was, I, I, I was pushing through it. Um, and that was my process, and I needed to go through that process. Um, so for those of you who um, who donated and contributed mm -hmm. for my Oliver's uh, surgery, I am extremely grateful and humbled, and you have allowed me to fund his surgery. Although, sadly, tragically, Oliver, my fur baby, in case some of you aren't familiar, um, has passed on. He moved to his next phase of existence, not in the form that I've had him until now for 10 years. Um, he was my best friend and my angel, and he will forever be in my heart, and I'm grateful for the 10 years of pure love that he gave me and taught me. Um, so for those of you who donated and prayed and wrote me, um, in the last full moon, the full moon in Gemini, I have uh, meditated on gratitude and I have mentioned every single one of your names to send um, benefic energy in your direction. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give messages for all the zodiac in one video for December, or should I say for the transition of, you know, between what we had and what we're about to have, because I believe many of you are on the same boat, because we are all part of a collective that is going through a massive transition, a massive leap of frequency and awareness. Um, many contract, soul contracts are written off or closed or reopening only in a better, more suitable way. Uh, the past month, November, has been the portal as I see it, um, 11, 11, November of 2018, which was the year, which is the year of the 11. Um, people see portals and master numbers as if they are majestic and always fun. No, they're powerful. Powerful isn't always fun. Mm -hmm. Um, and some of us have, have experienced it in a positive manner. Some have, of us have experienced it in a negative matter, but the main thing is that we've all experienced it in a powerful manner that have shook us and has shed every single, if there was any peel left or skin that we're supposed to shed uh, left, then it's gone and done. And it's almost like we've been experiencing a time frame of I kind of see it as, as an energetic vortex, especially the month, the past month or two, uh, November, October, November, which was a culmination of the past year. It was a karmic energetic vortex, a massive transition, a gateway, um, a pass through, and I felt like my need of you know, distancing myself and going within was very much resonating with the need of the collective to be left alone to its energies and to having its own hurricane and vortex being translated in their life, in your life, however, however translated. Um, and I needed, I had to allow you to go through, to go through it and not meddle. I felt like I couldn't really give any guidance or advice that will be benevolent, that the best thing I could do, I could have done for you and for myself, because I am a part of this, right, um, is to allow the energies to play out and allow yourselves to have the understandings and resolutions that you needed to have within yourself, right? You needed to look within and understand it yourself and not be told um, 
and it's almost like I'm feeling right now December is like the holiday season you know it's like the the dust that is settling in you know after the hurricane now things are starting to calm down to allow us to take a rest before all the new beginnings we are we have gone through the portal went through the vortex now we're taking a break food and water before we allow ourselves to look up to the new horizon and start walking it so for that new horizon um, towards the end of December mid-month end of December I will um, resume regular aspect of my work I will have 12 separate videos for each zodiac I will have on Vimeo also the extended uh, reads for January but on top of that I will also have extended yearly I will have 12 extra videos for the year of 2019 I believe that's about um, 36 videos that I'm gonna have to do this month which I'm super excited about so looking forward to that and I hope you will join me um, but for now to show you that I'm still with you my secret always am and to kind of give you a little bit of something for this transition I'm gonna give you one card message for each zodiac I'm gonna start with Aries and finish with Pisces please watch your listen tune in to your um, I'll put timestamps and if you're watching it and if you want to uh, write down in the comments the uh, timestamp for each of the zodiac or whatever it is you managed to um, to look at to know then that will be very helpful helpful thank you if not I'll try to uh, make up for the rest and watch your Sun moon rising Venus placements that you feel highly uh, resonating with I can tell you that I always resonate with my opposing opposing sign um, which is just the other tip of the scale right if I'm Taurus and the other tip of the scale is Scorpio it's not completely different than I am it's just my uh, my shadow side as with all of us okay um, so I always resonate with I, many times I resonate with that MC midheaven for career so this is going to be a shorter video so it will be easier for you to watch the several um, signs that are a big part of your chart to each card I will add a rune so basically each of you will have each zodiac will have a tarot card and a room and this is like a little bit of a tasting of what I'll have what I'll do for you guys in the extended yearly ones which I will combine tarot runes um, and Oracle it will be very very intense and um, wholesome okay so I'm really looking forward to that if you're watching this video after mid-December 2018, good chance that I already added the link for the extended for the yearly of 2019. So anytime you're watching this after mid-December 2018, you can check up check the information box um, and the link will be below as all links are always, they're always below um, this video in the information box. Um, over there you will also find a link to book a private reading with me they are very limited for this month I will resume regular um, activity towards the end of this month more so towards January but there are very few um, spots slots are available for a private read with me uh, for this month they're very soon so click the link and hope you'll be one of the, the few that will um, get a hold of one of the availabilities and let's get to it okay messages for the collective of my seekers for 2012 Phone here is like taking me out of. Okay. So for this December, let's start with Aries. 
One card for Aries for this month. One card for Aries for this month of December. I'm using my big writer deck because it's only one card, so. Don't you know it. Don't you know it, Aries. Okay, the Magician. So, the Magician is a um, major arcana. It speaks of our potential that needs an action to be manifested. Now, let's add a rune to it, so we'll make the connection. A rune for Aries for the month of December. A rune for Aries for the month of December. A rune for Aries for this month, please. Kinez. Now, I will always treat the runes as if they came up and they're upright because this is a reading for the collective. And when they are reversed, they're very, very different. And we're going to just take the advice of the upright aspect of them. So, Kinaz and the Magician. This Basically, hi, magic. Open your heart and mind to magic. Because magic only unveils itself to those who seek it, who believe in it. It's not going to show itself to you. If you're if you're skeptical, if you're if, if you're a, a sarcastic, you will always be right, because it will never show itself to you. So you will always be like, oh, serendipity doesn't exist, magic doesn't exist, um, the beyond doesn't exist, because. Listen, no one will force themselves into your house, especially not something as pure as the beyond. Unless it's a thief, like negative energies, and then it's up to you to want to be aware of them so you'll be able to hold them off or deny them so they'll just sneak in through the window without you even knowing that they exist and cause me, whatever. It's up to you. But for the majority of the essence of magic, which is pure and positive, like most people, they will not come to your home unless you, they are invited. Right? They may knock on the door, but you, you need to open up. Okay, they'll knock on the door, you'll hear the knock, but if you won't open the door, you will have no idea who it is or how they, how they look like and what they want. So maybe signs will come at you here and there, but you won't acknowledge them as whatever it is that they are because you're not opening the door. And that's in the good case scenario. Most most likely, it just won't present itself at your doorstep. Okay? And also, mostly, be conscious of the magic within, meaning your ab abilities. The magician is not the one that pulls a rabbit out of the hat at shows in Vegas or on, or on, or on boats. No. The magician is the inner aspect of us that knows how to balance between all our elements and our uh, and our abilities, knows how much to put when into the recipe in order to create the perfect dish, aka life, life experience. Okay, The magician is the person that knows how to behave when they go to a job interview, how to behave when they go to a date, um, how they are when they are traveling, and how they are when they are in a business meeting. It's because they shift their energy to match the situation. They give whatever it is is required of them in the situation in order to attain the maximum, most benevolent, best result. So this calls for action, for awareness of your talents and gifts, and for saying yes to opportunities, to magic, to the universe, and believing in yourself. Kinaz is the open hand. Is the yes, I believe, give it to me. But it's also the yes, I create. Okay? I'm sorry, the receiving is the left. The active is the right. Okay? And notice here, we got the, the rune of the hand, the open hand. Either giving or receiving or both. And look what he does here. He's channeling energy from the universe. He's accepting energy with his left hand. And he's manifesting it, he's pointing it and expressing it and using it and working with that energy on the mundane 
life of his. In his existence, in his daily act activities, relationships, work, whatnot. So that's for you guys, for Aries, for December. Time to acknowledge yourself. It's time to acknowledge the beyond and connect the two. And say hello to magic. Taurus. Hi, Taurus. Taurus for December. One card, please, for Taurus. For the collective energy of Taurus. For the month of December. One card for my Taurus seekers. Three of Cups. Time to have some fun, Taurus. Time to lighten up. Meet friends. Go out. Be lighthearted. Not think too much, not plan too much, be forgiving with yourself, allowing yourself to be at ease. Let's ask for a room, a room for Taurus for the Three of Cups for the month of December. A room for Taurus for the Three of Cups for the month of December. Okay. Ehol. This is the rune of protection. By the way, Kenaz is also the letter K or C, or so K. Ehor could be the letter Z, in case it speaks to you. So Ehor speaks of protection, energetic protection. This could be, if you're having fun, then make sure it's safe. Safe sex, for example. Use protection. Just a small example. But other than that, this can also speak of if your energies are open, which you are asked to be open with your energy and relieve yourself from any heavy burdens and just be lighthearted and have fun because you deserve it. This also says that simultaneously you need to work on your defense mechanisms, the energetic ones. Because in order for us to be open hearted, we need to open our heart. Open the doors, and when the doors are open, who knows what comes in? So being discerning, okay? So if you're having fun and going out and spending time with friends and being lighthearted, be specific of who it is that you're doing it with, who it is that you're spending time with, who it is that you're trusting, okay? Go have fun with your closest friends, people that you trust and feel safe with. Find the middle ground. Jump, but make sure you have a safety net. If you're going and get drunk, make sure you're real, with a really good friend that will take care of you in case you're, you know. So that's the message for December for Taurus. I like that. Gemini. Message for Gemini for December. Message for Gemini for December. Message for my lovely Gemini seekers for this month of December. One card, please, for Gemini. Okay. I like the cards that have been coming up so far. Three of Wands. Okay. And Enigma is the second three, by the way, which is good, good fortune. Um, an acknowledgement of your abilities. Allowing what it is that you want to be and or do sink in and accept it within yourself. Acknowledge it, acknowledge it both inner and outer. And be willing to take the next step in order to manifest whatever it is that you are taking in now that is now officially a part of you, that you know is yours or should be yours. Now, when I say should be yours, Three of Wands is a card that isn't solitary. It has the support of its environment. It's a group effort. It, it receives acknowledgement from the outside. So if it's just something that you know that you want to do, but everyone around you objects because they feel that there's something wrong with how you're being stubborn about things, please listen. Listen to the advice of people around you. Okay? 
But if this is something of a knowledge that you have that you want to take to the next level, um, something that you've been waiting on, that you know is coming, then this is confirmation. Then this is a very positive message. Just connect it with the rune for Gemini for the month of December to complete the Three of Wands. Rune for my Gemini Super for the month of December. Hera. Hera is the cycles of nature. It could also be the letter um, J or H. It speaks of timing. But not the timing that we plan as much as it, the timing that is. What do I mean by that? You plant a seed. And you water it and you take care of it and you give it light. And you do everything you need to do the right way in order to help it grow. But it, it will grow in its own pace, in accordance to nature, right? So this says keep doing what you're doing. Keep walking your path with, and taking the right steps. But keep in mind that things will happen the right way in the right time, in accordance to nature's process. This is the seasons, okay? This can also represent um, the holiday season. So maybe there will be some sort of confirmation that you're waiting on throughout the holiday. It's the entire month, so you have Hanukkah now and then you have Christmas. So I guess, yeah, it could be any time in the next three weeks. Okay. Next, Cancer. Hmm. My Cancer Seekers for the month of December. A card and a rune. Guys, if this is your first time joining me at the end in the with in the uh, with the existential shift, welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, this is something that I'm doing momentarily. I will resume regular activities um the end of this month for january okay so stay tuned in this is short and sweet to not leave you guys hanging because i needed to convey with you guys i missed you um so if you haven't joined the family yet if you haven't joined my tribe yet join the existential shift press this press the subscribe button you can feel free to press the ring the bell next to it and that way it will also give you a notification okay let's clean that and let's focus, refocus on Cancer for December. One card for Cancer for the month of December. Okay, that's two, I only want one. Just peek. Just peek. Okay. Only one. We're being focused. Cancer for December. A cancer Seeker. Okay. Uh, two cards keep wanting to come out. I'm just going to let it be. I'm not going to fight it. Okay. I also like the cards that came out. It's really good. We have Strength and the Six of Pentacles. Let me take a look at that. Hmm. I want to take out a rune at first before I start talking. For Cancer, because I want to gonna line up line up all the messages into one a rune for cancer for the month of December lovely ing or ingus could be like ing letter wise coming being doing <laughs> ing this is the tree that has the roots and the branches that connects heaven and earth and everything in between. This is the bridge between the worlds that we've just been going through, but in manifestation of a tree, something that is alive and benefic, positive and healing. So Cancer, you are taking the vortex that we've had in November and you're going through it again, but now the walk is easier, calmer, more serene. Sun is coming up, everything is softer, and you're setting down roots for the future. Whatever it is that you're beginning now will have a major um, effect of your, in your life for the future. Now let's connect it to Strength and Six of Pentacles. 
So in the strength card, I have the lion. And ink is very much so that, the animal kingdom as well. I feel like many of the Cancerians are going through from the phase in their life of being either the giver or the taker, right? The hero or the victim that plays either role to a place of balancing our inner forces, the hero and the victim, the strong and the weak, the giver and the taker into one entity that knows all, understands all, and lives it with harmony and ease without conflict. And this is very much the tree, right? Because if there is the bridge between the world that is a was or now dis in rooms that are very almost violent and scary. Ing is also the bridge between the worlds, between the heaven and earth, but it's the tree. It's life giving. It communicates it's the diplomat. Of between the worlds. So this is a great place to be and to attain cancer. Proud of you. Okay, great. Hmm. Leo. One card for Leo, please. For the month of December. For my Leo Seeker. One card message for December. Two more cards. One card for Leo for December. Card. Sorry, card cards. We need to speak very clearly and very accurately right now. One card for Leo. Not taking all these cards. card for Leo. Message for December. Thank you. Nine of Cups. Let's take out a room. Nine of Cups isn't always as amazing as readers make of it. Yes, it's the wish card. Yes, it's being satisfied, but sometimes it's tricky. I'm going to take out a room and see how I, how I look at it. A rune to connect to the Nine of Cups for Leo for December. So Leo. This is so Leo. The rune of the sun, the letter S if it's relevant. Rune of protection and of success. And of ego. Success. Light. And ego. Make sure that the positive results that you are achieving now that you're feeling throughout this month of your well-earned work, no, hard work, hard work, I'm sorry. This is not to say you're not worthy, you are so. But with power comes great responsibility and with great success comes humility, the necessity of humility. Don't, don't forget where you've come from, Leo. Don't forget what you went through. Nine of Cups, it's, it's very interesting that it's coming out after November because Nine of Cups is Psyche leaving the underworld after she, you know, went through her dark night of the soul, her test in order to prove her love to Cupid. And she went there with full understanding that she may not return because no one returns from the underworld. But she went there as a, you know, as a proof of her love. And that has granted her all the love and joy in the world. But she can never forget what she had to go through in order to attain that. This is coming out into the light, you know, the sun and then come the archetype is coming out of the underworld back to the kingdom of the living, the sun element, daylight. We're coming out into the light from the darkness. Our shadow 
is something we can never ever ever release it follows us wherever we go sometimes we see it sometimes we don't depending on the angle of the Sun but it's there and the more the Sun is in our face the bigger the shadow behind us you had to go through what you went through in order to feel the light on your face right now and remember that so you could use it to remind yourself next time you're going through a rough time and in order to give guidance to people around you when you needed sun to pull you out of those dark places you received it now that you're out be that sun for others Kalia great Virgo my Virgo message for Virgo oh that was Virgos want to talk. And Virgos are in the house. It's like the cards literally fell. They're like, oh, we're, you're not bringing us back into the deck. And also the card of the Virgo and the student, the school and the teacher. Yeah, the, the, these cards want to be here. The Hermit and the Two of Wands. So... There is a learning of the self. Going within, like the hermit, to discover new knowledge, like the two of wands. Now, as above, so below, as within, so without. So, what you will learn about yourself within will manifest in your reality without, outside. I mean, not without, like being without, but with the out. So make sure that what you're discovering is something that you appreciate and like. And then allow it to exist inside of you and therefore manifest outside of you. But if it's not, work on it. Go even deeper and longer until it sits just right before you allow yourself to stay with it with an understanding that it's part of the self and thus allowing it to manifest. Okay, let's ask for a room. A room for Virgo, for the Hermit and Two of Wands for December. Hotel, or Hotelaz, or the letter O. Interesting, because Hotel speaks of land and of the home. And of legacy. So when I have the two of wands, that is, one foot in, one foot out, and looking outside into the world. And when I have the hermit, which is the elder, the wise, the sage, could be a grandparent, could be the legacy, our family legacy, or our cultural legacy, that we have learned what we had to learn from it, and now we feel like we want to step outside of it and move on to a newer, different world. And hotel speaks of the home, right? So this could be the legacy, the family, the home. This could be the place that we are one leg in before we leave it. This shows you that your home will always be your home. You can always come back. You can go and explore. And your ancestors or the spirits of those who have passed your grandparent, your parent, however this speaks to you. They're with you, guarding you and protecting you. So if you want to leave the house, you know, to go to school, for example, it's okay, don't fear. Home will always be in your heart and will always be there for you to come back to. And you have the potential of establishing a new home. So it's okay. You have the go to seek adventure. And someone will miss you, the hermit here. Someone will miss you, but it's okay. You still have to do what you have to do. Okay, Virgo? I like this message for you. Um, there's also, again, the element of a teacher and a student in a home. So some of you are finding a home within a place of study or with someone who is either your teacher or your student. 
and you're finding um, connection and sense of belonging there. Or some of you are learning new knowledge about your legacy and about your ancestors at this time and you're discovering things you never knew that make you really open your eyes and see things differently from a new perspective and there's a sense of wanting to go and discover it you know like a um, like like going out to a, an origin country that you were born in but you but you never grew up in and you're not familiar with so you want to go and travel and get to know it right right something like along those lines go for it libra Libra Seeker for December. Message for my Libra for this month of December. Messages for my Libras for the month of December. Message for Libra for the month of December. The sun. I'll pick a rune, so I'll make the actual the specific connection. A rune, a rune for Libra for the month of December to connect with the sun. Ooh, it was. This represents the Yggdrasil tree, the tree from which we make bows and arrows and protect and protection. This is also. A rune of connection between the worlds. Now, if the tree, if Ingus, if Ingus was um, the sky and the earth, this will be the living and the dead. Don't worry, it's not as morbid as it sounds. This is our light versus our shadow. Remember, I spoke for the Leos, which is also a card of Leo, by the way, about the aspect of light and shadow. This is us after exploring and going through the transitions of our shadow sides, dark night of the soul and all that. This is us gaining the rewards, stepping outside of the cave. The eyes are a little bit, you know, but little by little getting used to the light. And now through this month of December and the holiday season, truly soaking in the light and in the vitamin D and enjoying it. This is newfound optimism. This is waking up back to life, Libra. This is new knowledge about yourself. This is being in the sun, not from a clueless place, from a place that has already learned and educated about yourself. Like you opened the Pandora box you have released the demons. And now they're just walking beside you because you're no longer terrified of them because we only fear the unknown. But once we make an acquaintance with our fears and with our demons, we allow them to walk beside us like the shadow because we know that when we allow a shadow being next to us, it just means that the sun is right above us. Okay, Libra? It's a very similar message to the one Leo received. It's also rebirth. This is like the death card. 13. So some of you are literally, um, after a period of time that what may have been challenging, finally birthing something new. It could be a new project, a new idea, or, literal, or, or physically a baby. Um, and if this was uh, a difficult pregnancy or a difficult process, uh, once it comes out, you'll be like, oh my god, it was all worth it. Thank you. So I'm happy for you. Congratulations, whatever this is. All right. Scorpio. My dear dog, spirit animal, fur baby of a best friend of a human stuck in a animal's body, Oliver. He's my, uh, he's a soulmate that I recently lost. He was a Scorpio. Um... He was always my counterpart, right? Taurus, Scorpio. It's the life and death. It's the earth and the underworld. It is Demeter and Hades. It's that, you know, 
scale. And he has shown me, for 10 years he's shown me that everything about me is beautiful and worthy of love. My darkness and my light, my anger and my joy, my failure and my success, my pain and my well-being. He has taught me how to accept all the aspects of me just by looking at me. He's the, he is the purest form of existence that I've ever encountered and I'm so grateful that I've had him. And I feel like he's watching over me. I always referred to him as my spirit animal and as my angel and now he has lived up to become that. He's transitioned beautifully painfully for me, but beautifully for him. And he is where he deserves to be now, free and powerful as his spirit is. His body held him, him. It, it held him here. And I'm painfully am accepting his transition and my transition and just, you know, expressing gratitude for the time that we've shared. So Scorpio, thank you for for being all over. If that makes any sense. So now that that was said, messages for Scorpio for December. Message for Scorpio for this month of September. Uh, September. What happened in September, Scorpio? That is gonna repeat itself now. I don't know. Scorpio for December, for this month of December. Mm. Two cards fell, I'm going to let it because it's all over sign. Wow, okay. King of Swords and Judgment. King of Swords and Judgment. So Judgment is Awakening. Awakening of the Dead. It's kind of morbid in connection to what we just spoke of. Let's take out a rune. A rune for Scorpio for the month of December to connect with the King of Swords and Judgment. The Guz. This is the Phoenix. The Guz is the letter D, by the way. In case it's relevant. It is the Awakening. It's very much so the Judgment card. It is the rebirth of the self as something completely new, a new persona. Some of you are, are um, birthing a new personality that has been thought through and had to be made room for by releasing a lot of the old, a lot of skeletons. You have done a pretty good job, Scorpio, but who can do it if not you? This is ascension of a very powerful new self. The element of air is very strong here. And the month of October, because this could be Libra. So whatever understandings and realizations and awakening that you have experienced throughout the month of October, it's now getting into fruition. I said September, so maybe end of September, maybe some, some, something that happened between uh, September 20th or so to September 30th or so that is like uh, during the month of September, but the, the energy of Libra, right? Something is now being fully expressed in your life. It has to do with that. Um, if nothing you can think of when it comes to September or October, then just the essence of developing a new self and waking up to it. This is the this is where um, the caterpillar is breaking the cocoon and steps out, emerges as the butterfly. This is that moment. This is that combination of um, card and room. So congratulations. That must have not been easy. Um, some of you, very few of you, have someone that you have potentially lost. 
that is really looking down at you from looking at you from above not looking down at you like looking at you from above and sending you messages and guidance and protecting you so listen to your dreams listen to serendipitous events um, because that energy is still with you um, looking out for you so that's that, that's a great message for me as well so thank you Scorpio for allowing me to receive that too um, okay Sagittarius happy birthday Sagittarius messages for Sagittarius for the month of December message for Sagittarius for this month of December happy birthday Queen of Swords is there a Scorpio in your life because Scorpio received the King of Swords and now you're getting the Queen of Swords let's take out a room Sagittarius a room for Sagittarius for the month of December to complete the Queen of Swords Ehe was sounds f sounds similar but it's not this is Ehe was and this is Ehe was I know confusing Gaelic Celtic go figure the rune of the horse of also transitioning also transforming and transmuting only slower less extreme it's an inner process of movement this can also relate to uh, physical movement but I feel like it's more inner because the Queen of Swords is very idealistic and very um, thoughtful very calculated she's very much of the kingdom of the mind so I feel like this movement or transformation that is occurring has to do with how you perceive the world this could be an evolution of your ideology, of your world of values, um, of what it is that you want to give to the world, what it is that you feel like the world uh, needs or should give to humanity. This is an idea that is being formed. This could possibly, possibly be writing something artistic that has to do with a vision that you have of a certain set of values or of ideology. Um, so this could also be creative, but creative in a way that isn't solely entertaining, but also has a bigger meaning and a purpose. The Queen of Swords, she thinks of the world, right? She is of the world. It's the Aquarius. Okay, it's the society. It's the justice. It's the thinking outside of the box as well. Um, it's very genius oriented it's very unique it's very um non-ordinary but inspiring and quirky and makes total sense at the same time that's that's the energy of the aquarius so with the rune it was with the horse there's a need to um express that energy within you you know something that sits really strongly within you that you want to express but in a logical controlled um intelligent way so this could be writing by the way take it as take it for what it is <laughs> um okay and because it's the queen of swords and we have the king of swords in scorpio so maybe you want to listen to the message of scorpio so capricorns it's also some of your birthdays you know some of you that celebrated the end of December happy birthday so message for Capricorn for December for this month message for my Capricorn seeker you guys know how much I love you message for Capricorn Those of you who know cards know why I'm laughing. This is the Capricorn card. 78 cards in a deck. None repeat themselves. We're asking for a message for Capricorn. Hey Capricorn. So you're present. You're here and you have a say and you have a will. And you're not afraid to show it. And you're like, I'm going to do that or I'm going to get that or I'm going to be that. And that's it. And nothing else matters. And there's zero judgment. 
you have zero judgment towards yourself. You're just going all the way. I don't know what that is. It could be so many things. It could be your passion or your dream and then great, but it could be an obsession or wanting to take over something and being like, oh, I'm going to get this no matter what, even if it has to do with something that belongs to someone else or even worse, even if it's another human being and then tone down, Cappy. So if you want to go and get someone, if they love you, great, go get them. But if they say no, then you don't go get them. Now, if this is about mutual passion, agreed, expressed, communicated passion, have fun. I'm the last person to judge. This is wonderful, creative, raw energy that is very important for the survival of our existence. No passion, no children. Huh? No passion, no vision, no vision, no creation, no creation, no life. The devil isn't always all the evil. It could be the aspects in our lives that we, the shadow sides, that we just won't acknowledge and suppress and diminish, even though there are a valuable aspect of ourselves. This is also the great mother. This is Gaia. This is nature. Religion made it bad. It's not bad. Let's let's connect Arun to Capricorn, the card of the devil for the month of December. Fehu. Now, the reason I'm smiling is because how it connects to the devil. The devil is very um, materialistic. Fehu is a rune of matter, of gain, of success, of money of property of ownership so make sure that this ownership isn't you trying to own someone else if it's a matter of investments real estate um, money things like that then you're on a roll things are looking good you have the clothes that you want to have, you have the home that you want to have, or you're just about to get it. Make sure it's from the right reason and make sure that it doesn't make you lose yourself in the process. You know, like, not... So, the, the goal doesn't always excuses the means, okay? This is a combination of someone really wants something and there's nothing they won't do to get it. And they can succeed if it's property, not if it's a human. Um, but the question is, is it really worth it? Now, if no one gets harmed in the, in, the, uh, in the process and it's just you being really obsessive over it and nothing else, you can't see anything other than that, um, then that's your choice. But if this affects other people in your life, you need to tone it down. Okay? Um, also, Listen, I'm not one of those hypocrites that say money is dirty. Hands can be dirty. Money is an instrument that you can do great things with, good or bad, okay? And money puts food on the table and a rooftop above your head. And no, I'm not just saying it because I'm a tourist. I'm saying it because it's reality. It's easy to say that money is dirty when you have it. Okay, let's see you go hungry. And then we'll hear you. Right? So I'm not trying to patronize uh, ambition or will to succeed or trying to make money. The last person to do that. Hey, I'm ambitious. I like to live well. Okay? But it has to be balanced and not come at the expense of other people or your soul. If you're at a place where you feel you have to sell your soul to the devil in order to obtain something, think more carefully because you will receive what you want. But when you perform such business transactions there's always a price energy is given energy is taken now the things that strongly comes up from this combination is sorcery witchcraft manifestation here's the thing when you manifest something when you ask for something when you manipulate the energy in order to get something something else something else needs to be taken right nature always seeks balance so if you're one of the few people who are watching that this might be relevant with that perhaps is handling uh, sorcery, witchcraft, black magic, and all that jazz, 
Um, keep in mind that everything comes with a price. Everything, everything, because nature always seeks balance. If it's taking energy from a different place in order to give it to you, right? Like you're manipulating the energy. It's that the, the natural course of action of, of events, like something else was supposed to happen, but you made a, an energetic manipulation in order to shift the energy towards you. When you do that, when energy is being taken from somewhere, it needs to be filled back up. There can't be left a hole, right? There's a moon, but there's a sun. There are black holes, but there's also stars and explosion, explosions in space. There's darkness, but there's light. There's always the yin and the yang to complete each other. So if you take something from somewhere else, something from you else will be taken to complete the, the lack over there. That's why I don't handle, I, I believe it exists. I believe witchcraft is real and that it works. I'm just super careful with these things. And I don't do these things because I learned that these things tend to backfire. No matter how positive your intention is, if it's trying, oh my God, God forbid you're trying to control someone else's free will. That comes with the heaviest, heaviest of prices. And this is to all of you seekers, not just Capricorns. Of course, not all of you. I love you Capricorns. You're awesome. This, you, you're probably, see, you're always the opportunity um, to help other people, right? The reading for you has become something for everyone else. That's actually very, but you'll never get the credit for it. You'll be the guy that get, the guy or the girl that got the devil. But actually, you're the guy or the girl that had me go talking about something that could save someone's ass if they were about to perform something. Okay? So take it as a compliment. So if you're trying to control someone, someone's free will, and this is not just for Capricorns, for everyone who's watching, love spell that mentions someone specific, someone in specific, um, anything of that sort, especially if they said no to you or they, they're not showing interest. Abort. 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 You will pay a price one way or another for that. The person may come to you temporarily, but then nature will be restored and they will go away just as quickly as they came, being in complete shock of, Wait, what was I doing there? Why was I with this person? How did that happen? And then you're you're left to handle the karma of it. Free will is the most important thing. God decided to let us have it. As yeah, it's sometimes it doesn't feel like that in this lifetime, like we go through reincarnation and possibly our soul chooses the path of the new life that it's going to be reincarnated as. So right now it feels like we don't have a choice, like events that happen that feels destined that we can't change, but it's it's your higher self that actually chose it. It's just your brain that can't handle it. There's a detachment there. It's okay. We still have free choice as a soul, as a higher being. When you meddle with someone else's path, why they? What did I say at first? I didn't want to meddle with your karma by doing uh, reads for December because I felt it was a very um, intense time frame in all of our lives that needed to be expressing it, to need, that needed to express itself as is. And I, I'm like, I'm not meddling with other people's karma and I'm allowing my own karma to manifest and to express itself. I'm allowing myself to go through what it is I'm going through. I'm going to allow my seekers to go through whatever it is that they're going through. Getting the picture? Back to Capricorn. <laughs> Money, sexual relationship, inability to let go of property. It's also that. If you're attached to matter, let go. You're holding it from the wrong reasons. Okay. You guys know I love you, right? All right. Oh, Aquarius. Strike that. Strike that. Aquarius for the month of December. Thank you. King of Cups. Water energy. Kings are cardinal. So the king of water will be the cardinal water will be Cancer. Queens are fixed energy. So the queen of water will be the fixed element of water, 
Scorpio. Dear tarot readers, I know when you do general readings and you see King of Cups or you're like, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. No, Cancer. Page of Cups, mutable energy. The pages are mutable energy, a.k.a. the mutable energy of water, Pisces. Now, in general reads, it's allowed because it's general reading. Many people are watching, so the cards speak to us generally. But when you're doing a one-on-one, -on -one, be more specific and honor the cards. Now, I tend to not say uh, the zodiac of a card unless I have two or three cards that express the same zodiac. So if I had here the chariot and the king of cups, I'd be like, cancer. But not necessarily. This can be an earth sign, a fire sign, an air sign, or a water sign that behaves watery and flowy and emotional and empathetic. This is the friend, this is the counselor. This is the healer that comes from the, the, the realm of the heart. Let's connect a rune to it and see how it connects to my Aquarius. Okay, for Aquarius, King of Cups, a rune for December for Aquarius. Wungo. So this is how I connect it. Wungo um, could be the letter W. Very creative energy that comes from the heart from the flow of the heart, from the emotion, for how we feel. Express it with creativity. It could be words, could be painting, could be song. It doesn't matter. There's a reason why I started singing like an idiot for Aquarius. Sing, paint. If you're artistic, express yourself. It doesn't have to sell. It just needs to be. It's time for you to express the, the element of the King of Cups in you in a happy, flowing matter. Start with your friends, with people who are close to you, your partners, your besties, your siblings, your parents. But this month needs to be happy and flowing and calm and serene. So make, you sh make sure you surround yourself with people who help you be in that state of mind. Last but not least, Pisces for December. All right. Page of Wands. Could be Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. Mutable fire, right? Adventurous energy. Lighthearted, free spirited, something new. Doesn't necessarily have to be the smartest or the strongest or the most long-term thing experience this is learning the page of wands he learns about life not from the book but from walking the path he goes out there and he tries he experiences and he's very open-minded and that's how things come to him or to her okay also this could be right now the month of December so this could be a very meaningful month to you guys now let's ask for a rune for Sagittarius for the month of December. I'm sorry, not for Sagittarius. This, this is the card of Sagittarius, but for Pisces. The runes know better, don't worry. I don't need the, the runes know better. Manaz, also the letter M, a combination of Ehewaz, where is it? Which is the rune of the horse, the human process, and the Gaz, the rebirth into the higher realms into our state of mind of phoenix so manaz this is the rune of humanity and its connection to the realms above this is the communication between the divine and the human being how we get messages from the divine and express those messages to each other in order for us to grow as a collective so pisces you are called to go on a path that is of the learning from the experience so you'll be able to express your knowledge to the to your fellow man, 
fellow men and women? Because you can, so you should. So you're being called. Go discover. You wanted to take a trip. You wanted to start a new class. You want to experience a new connection with someone. Experience it and remember the concept. Remember the uh, conclusions and what you've learned, and pass it on. This is the rune of the connection. So this could be uh, a, a group travel or a group adventure. It's the holidays, so maybe you're going away with a few friends, or maybe you're going away with family members or with a sibling. Okay. Um, but either way, this will be very meaningful and this will be very connecting. Okay, the, the element of the connection and of the conversation and of, you know, being philosophical and expressing and bouncing ideas within each other and teaching each other and learning from each other. Highly benevolent for this month. Wow. Okay. That was awesome. Um, hmm. One final message to conclude with for all my seekers who are watching right now. One final message to conclude with for all my seekers who are watching. Just how I started the conversation, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the wheels are turning up and down, around and around. Let them. Don't try to control the energy right now. Don't try to fight it. Allow it to reveal itself to you. Allow yourself to be revealed to you. Rediscover yourself. Things are being written. Things are being deleted. The element of free choice is kind of partial right now because it's so intense. The divine is really trying to help us as a collective to go through the next level. And sometimes it just needs to really shake us to kind of force us into releasing what doesn't serve us or the collective to make room for whatever it does. So if you lose something, try to think of what about it needed to be released. If you gain something, be grateful. Even if you don't understand and be like, okay, something about this needs to be in my life right now. Allow things to kind of unveil themselves to you and play out. There's a reason, guys. I'm very, very aligned with the energies I feel. I know. There's a reason why I didn't do the regular 12 videos. I know what I'm doing. You needed this little small taste. A little bit of a boost. And go live your life this month, okay? I will be here end month with the full shebang, all right? 12 general reads free on YouTube. Another 12 extended one for January on Vimeo. Another 12 extended for the entire year of 2019 on Vimeo. If you want a private session with me, very little limited spots, link below for December. I will resume again in January for more spots and more slots. Okay, but for now, try to take advantage if you can. Um, what else? Happy Holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Um, happy New Year's. I'll say it all again in about two weeks when I'll see you guys again. Um, thank you again for being on my journey. Don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully press the bell so you can be notified if I go live or for more videos. Thank you all very much. So again, if you donated, I have given back to you, even if you don't know it as a form of a video, but I did the work, okay? With you in my mind, with all of you in my mind. Um, I feel like there's something else I should say. Right, just a reminder. As I'm doing this video, so if you're watching it as I'm releasing it, there's still no uh, extended for the entire year for all the Zodiac. But once I'll do them and upload them on Vimeo, I will add the link to, so the, to this video. So if you're watching this around mid-month of December and on, the link to that will be below. And oh, follow my Instagram, The Existential Shift. 
there as well. So why not? Okay, guys, comment um, how the past energetic vortex, karmic vortex has been treating you, uh, how you related to this reading, how much you love me, how much you love me. <laughs> um, you're in my mind, you're in my heart. Be good, do good. I love you.